Hello there and welcome back for another video. I am Brown Eyes. Thank you guys so much for your positive energy. Welcome to all of my new subscribers. Thank you to all of my viewers. Thank you for everyone who is taking the spiritual journey with Brown Eyes. I really do appreciate you guys so much. You totally rock and you are absolutely ah amazing. Thank you guys so much. So we're doing the energy of your person in love and in romance. I'm going to conclude these readings, rather uh, uh, ending it with Libra. I have did every other sign, okay? So the one left to do is Libra. So Libra, I will be pulling, uh, before I get started, Libra, remember these are general readings. They may or may not resonate with you. Uh, just take the part that resonates with you, if any. And just keep it pushing, no need and stress and trying to force it into your life. You don't need all of that unnecessary shit. You're into balance and make sure you stay balanced by knowing what part is for you and what part to dis discard, okay? So uh, <clears throat> I'm going to be pulling two cards from my tarot, psychic tarot, uh, heart oracle deck here. And I'm going to clarify them and clarify the clarifies and just pull some more tarot to get a little bit more understanding. Okay, so Libra, what is the energy for your person in love and in romance? Universal energy of light and love. Spirit guides, ancient ancestors, reveal us the energy. Uh, third eye chakra number six. So your person is in their intuition, intuitive energy here. I feel like your person is really elevating spiritually at this time here, Libra. <clears throat> Can I get another card for Libra's person in love and in romance, please? Show us another energy for Libra's person in love and in romance, please. We have observed. I feel like your person is really using their intuition to observe some things going on right now. Uh, I feel like your person is really observing themselves within this relationship, uh, but they're using their intuition here. So clarify third eye for Libra's person in love and in romance. Clarify third eye for Libra's person in love and in romance, please. Clarify third eye chakra for Libra's person in love and in romance, please. So we have the Nine of Pentacles here, Libra. So your person is you and their intuition about somebody being single, about some independence here. They're observing something about independence. I don't know if it's they're observing you, Libra. Maybe they're using their, their intuition in observing you. Ooh. <clears throat> Boy, that was a lot. Come on, Libra. Excuse me, y'all. Cars went everywhere. <sighs> okay, Libra. Come on, Libra's person in love and in romance. Show us some more energy for Libra's person in love and in romance, please. And we have this Four of Pentacles. I feel like someone is using their intuition that you are, Libra, holding back because you want to remain single here is what I see so far. I feel like your person intuition is telling them that you want to, their intuition, because they're observing you, they're observing every facet about you. I feel like they're observing you. They could be observing and looking from within as well. They could be observing things from a higher perspective, from a spiritual or enlightened perspective here about the situation and I feel like the conclusion that they're coming up with is that the reason why you've been holding back is because you want to remain single so let me clarify this nine of pentacles clarify the nine of pentacles for Libra's person in love and in romance please clarify the nine of pentacles for Libra's person in love and in romance please <clears throat> so we have the ten of swords here so there was some type of major ending here, some type of uh, betrayal here. Um, I don't know if, if your person is feeling betrayed by you, Libra, because they feel like you were holding on to this. That I guess your person feel like, let me get another card, y'all. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles for Libra's person in love and in romance. 
Clarify the Nine of Pentacles for Libra's person in love and in romance. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles for Libra's person in love and in romance, please. So give me some more cards. So we got the Seven of Cups here. I feel like your person is feeling like your person is feeling betrayed because they feel like you probably was giving them the impression that you just wanted to just be single. They feel like you was holding back because I guess they initially thought that you were just holding back because you wanted to be single. But I feel like your person has come to the conclusion that uh, the reason why you were holding back was because you had other options. So they're feeling betrayed as a result of it. So I feel like your person has really had to go within to get these answers. Your person is using their intuition. Your person is really observe. Your person had to use a higher perspective in order to understand this right here. Uh, so clarify the four pentacles for Libra's person in love and in romance. Clarify the four pentacles for Libra's person in love and in romance, please. Damn, four of pentacles clarified the four fucking pentacles. Holding back. <laughs> Your person feel like you were intentionally holding back this relationship because you wanted to explore your options with other people, Libra. So can I get another card for the four of pentacles, please? Clarify the four of pentacles for Libra's person in love and in romance. Clarify the four of pentacles for Libra's person in love and in romance, please. So you have the nine of wands here. I feel like your person is feeling kind of wounded as a result of this because I feel like your person is feeling betrayed from you. Now, this could be you, Libra, but I feel like it's your person's energy because I feel like your person is using their intuition about you guys' relationship. And I feel like your, your person wanted more with you, but they feel like you have other lovers. And I feel like your person is feeling betrayed because all this time they thought that you just wanted to be single. The reason why you were holding back, but you was, you wasn't holding back to stay single and stay to yourself. You was holding back because you wanted to explore your options with other people. So I feel like your person is holding back or your person views you as holding to yourself. Uh, or, or maybe your person has decided to pull back now. Because I feel like your person is in this nine of wands energy where they're wounded because they they you know they they come out of this ten of swords energy. I feel like your person is wounded as a result of this because they wasn't expecting you to be with other people. They believe that you just wanted to just be single, just just you just you didn't want to be in a commitment, but they feel like you were lying, you was holding them back, but it wasn't because you just wanted to be alone. It's just that you did not want they ass. Okay, is what I see. So I feel like your person's really took a blow to their ego and their pride and they're really hurt. But I feel like regardless of how hurt this person is, they still want a chance with you. I feel like they're given one more chance with you regardless. They could talk all that noise, but I feel like deep down they still want to be with you. So now we have the number 12 card, which is a three. Observe. So clarify observe for um, Libra's person in love and in romance. Clarify observe for Libra's person in love and in romance. Clarify, observe for Libra's person in love and in romance, please. So, page of swords. So, your person could have been observing you, Libra, watching your every fucking move. And I feel like they discovered. I feel like that's why your person is wounded right now because they went searching. They went observing you and they've been watching you. And the conclusion they came up with is that you just did not want them while you're dating other people. So now they're they're in their feelings because now, yeah, they they in some immature behavior, but that's the only way. It's like their intent intuition drew them or led them to do this. So what they found out was they had to do some searching. They was watching you, they was monitoring you, they probably was passing by your house, looking at all of your social media accounts, uh passing by your friends. And they whatever they saw, whatever information they dug and observed up about you, Libra, brought them to the conclusion with that you were holding back because you did not want them. 
So they could have saw you out on a date with someone else because you have the Seven of Cups here. You got the Ten of Swords and the Seven of Cups here. That's clarifying the Nine of Pentacles. So I feel like what you found, what your person found out was that you were dating other people, Libra. Why you led them to believe that you just didn't want to be involved with anyone at this time. You just wanted to be alone. But that wasn't true. So can I get another card for observe, observe for Libra's person in love and in romance? Clarify, observe. For Libra's person in love and in romance. Clarify, observe for Libra's person in love and in romance. Okay. So we have the eight of wands here. So I feel like whatever your person went searching and went found and went observed, they could have been going through your phone. They could have investigated your, your email. They could have hacked your email, your, your phone accounts. But whatever they found was some passionate uh, messages dealing with other people. This is what they found out. Now, their intuition led them to observe you, to watch you, to get down to the truth of the matter. And the truth of the matter is that they realized you just did not want them. You wasn't holding back because you just wanted to be alone. You was holding back because you was dating other people. And the bottom line is just you just didn't want them. So I feel like this has really been a hit to their ego and their pride because they got the Ten of Swords and the Nine of Wands. So not only are they feeling betrayed, they're feeling wounded as a result of that because they can't believe it's like <laughs> it's like you're doing all this stunt like you don't want to be with nobody you know what i'm saying you you just want to be to yourself you just want to stay to yourself but in all actuality here you out here uh, uh exploring your other options you're exploring your other options here you're exploring your options while you're single you don't want to be single and be with this person you kept back your energy from this person but all the while you was exploring your options with other people is what your person is finding out here so i feel like your person has ran across some juicy messages some uh heated passionate messages from you a libra uh telling them how you miss them love them or want to hook up with them and it broke your person down your person is fucked up from this your person is i feel like this really kicked your person in their pride in their ego because they really this person must have really thought they was the shit and i'm not just you know saying that it, you're right or you're wrong i'm not here to say but i'm saying in order for your person either your person was really into you or this person really thought highly of themselves i guess it's kind of different if this is a female libra doing this to a man because I feel like this guy, this person's ego has is in has been bruised because I feel like the female played the game that most men play. You know what I'm saying? Always trying to front off like you're single. You don't want nobody, but, but you don't want them. But that's what you tell them, I guess, to spare their emotions. But in all actuality, you still getting it in. You still, still doing everything uh, like you want to do, you know what I'm saying? But you didn't, I feel like you have the right to date whoever you want to date Libra, but I feel like this person felt like you could have given them a chance since you gave all these other people a chance because you got a lot of people here, Libra. So I feel like your person found out some stuff about you, Libra, and they're not too happy about it. So clarify the page of swords for Libra's person in love and in romance. Clarify page of swords for Libra's person in love and in romance, please. Page of Swords for Libra's person in love and in romance, please. Clarify this card for Libra's person. So we have the Three of Wands. Now your person is waiting. Your person is waiting for something to happen. I don't know if your person is waiting to see if you're if you're going to make them one of their your options too, or your person is is looking for something better or. Or maybe your person found out that you were waiting for something better to come in your life. You know, because this three of wands is waiting for your shifts to come in, waiting for your payday to come, waiting for your success to manifest. I feel like your person discovered that you were waiting for someone to, you were waiting for something to take off through these messages, through this through this dirt that they dug up, all this observing, all this intuition-led uh, journey of, of digging your shit up, Libra. I feel like your person found out that you're dating other people, but you're interested in someone in particular because you're waiting for this person here. So clarify page of swords for Libra's person in love and in romance. Clarify the page of swords for Libra's person in love and in romance, please. Clarify page of swords for Libra's person in love and in romance, please. 
So Queen of Cups. So see, your person, your person discovered about you, Libra, is that you're waiting for someone, uh, someone that they're in love with or someone that they have emotions for or, or a more emotionally fulfilling relationship is what you're waiting for. You're waiting for a more emotionally fulfilling relationship than what this person has to offer you, I feel. I feel like this person did not fit the description of, for what you were looking for, Libra. So you probably led them to believe that, you know, you probably just didn't want to hurt their ego or their pride. So I feel like you probably just kind of misled them and just let them think instead of just telling them, you know what, I'm not interested. I'm not, you know, for whatever reason, I'm just not interested at this time. Uh, or, or I just, I'm just not interested in you. Uh, I feel like you told them that you, you're not involved with nobody. You're not, you're not trying to be involved with anyone. You just stand to your, to yourself. But I feel like your person had to investigate because they didn't believe your ass and they found out that you just did not want them because you are involved with other people and you have a specific person in mind that you're really feeling. So this eight of wands here, clarify the eight of wands for Libra's person in love and in romance. Clarify the eight of wands for Libra's person in love and in romance. Clarify the eight of wands for Libra's person in love and in romance, please. So you have the five of pentacles. I feel like your person feels left out in the cold based on what they found out. Your person felt like that opportunity should have been for them. But I feel like your person feel like you overlooked them for someone else. I feel like with all the other options that you have, Libra, your person is feeling like, but damn, you giving everybody else a chance. Why you didn't give me a chance too? But I just feel like this, you just did, wasn't into this person like that, Libra. I don't think it's personal. I just think this person just, you just wasn't feeling this person. So can we get one more card for the eight of wands for Libra's person in love and in romance? Clarify the eight of wands for Libra's person in love and in romance. Clarify the eight of wands for Libra's person in love and in romance, please. The tower card. <laughs> this happened, whatever this person found out took their ass totally by surprise and it ended everything. It, it fucked them up to the point where it brought the whole foundation down because they realized that you're, you're not only dating other people, you just don't want they ass. So you're not going to date them too. This person can't believe that you're not dating them you know, they feel like they've been betrayed, but they feel like they've left off. They, they've been left left out in the cold, and there has been a tremendous ending here. I feel like once this person realized that you did not want them, that it was fucking personal, it brought the tower down for them because they didn't see that shit coming. They thought you was really single, like you said, and didn't want nobody. But in all actuality, you just did not want them. So can we get some more energy for Libra's person in love and in romance, please? Show us some more energy for Libra's person in love and in romance, please. Show us some more energy for Libra's person in love and in romance, please. So we have this King of Pentacles here. I feel like your person, I feel like Libra is looking to upgrade their relationship here. I feel like Libra was holding, was holding back from this person, but I also feel like this person was holding back too. I feel like that's why Libra did not pick this person because this person is also in the four of pentacles, but Libra is showing up in the nine of pentacles. So I feel like Libra wanted someone that was a little bit more compatible with them. So I feel like your person has discovered whoever, when they was investigating and, and finding all these passionate messaging and all these things like that, they're finding out the type of person you're really into and you are into a boss type of person. Now, it, it could also be a, a, a hit to their ego is that they can't understand why you won't give them a chance, but this King of Pentacles could already be in a relationship. So they're probably saying, well, damn, Libra wouldn't give me a chance, but they want this married ass man. You know, they want this person who already got somebody, but I'm here right now. I'll be with them, but I don't think this person has enough. I feel like this person is stingy with their things. 
And I feel like they can't compare to what Libra has already established on their own. So Libra wants to be upgraded. And I feel like Libra just felt like they wasn't compatible with this person. And this really hurt this person because they had to use their intuition. They had to do a lot of digging to get to the truth. But I feel like in their digging, they did a lot of, 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 of doxing you. They did a lot of stalking you. They did a lot of research. They did a lot of digging your information up. They watched your ass like a hawk. And what they found out, they could not handle it. So can we get some more energy for Libra's person in love and in romance? Show us some more energy for Libra's person in love and in romance, please. So we have judgment. I feel like your person wants to try to heal this situation. Your person still wants to resurrect this relationship and bring it back together. But they haven't, they, they don't understand that you just don't want them. It's just that you guys are not compatible. I feel like Libra is 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 a little bit more experienced and a more learned, a more, I don't know, more qualified, a little bit more, I don't know, more established than what this person has. And I feel like even if, if this person had could match Libra's energy and what Libra had, I feel like this person still would be stingy with what they have. And Libra is not going for that because Libra is very independent and doing good on, on, on their own. So can we get some more energy for Libra's person in love and in romance, please? Show us some more energy for Libra's person in love and in romance, please. So you have the four of wands. Your person is trying to resurrect this relationship and now they want to upgrade it now. I feel like your person has been watching you. You could be involved with someone that is already involved with someone. And now your person is trying to come in and try to offer you some type of higher level of commitment, even though they know you don't want them, but they just hate to see you go somewhere else. They just hate to believe that you're trying to build something with someone else because they want to be with you. Show us some more energy for Libra's person, please, in love and in romance. Now you got the devil card. Your person is obsessing over you. I feel like your person is really obsessing over you. Now it could also be that, well, I feel like your person, I just feel like your person is obsessing over you because I feel like whatever your person's found out about you, Libra, has to do with other suitors. And I feel like your other suitors are bosses. And I feel like some of your suitors could already be in uh, committed relationships. And I feel like your person does not like that because your person feel like they should be given a chance because they are available. They feel like you shouldn't be single dating a married person. But in all actuality, I feel like you're just at to satisfy yourself, Libra, and this person doesn't understand that they don't fulfill your needs. So I feel like this person is really uh, obsessing over you. Your person is obsessing over you to the point that it's toxic. And I feel like the reason why it's toxic is because they're, they're pushy. I feel like this person has really dug into your life because you say you don't want them. And that's why they're obsessive because they're watching you and they're digging up all of your life history. They watching. I feel like this person is watching you and whoever you're dating with, they're going to dox them too. They're going to watch every move you make because they can't, um, they can't believe that you don't want them. So can I get one more card for Libra's person in love and in romance, please? One more card for Libra's person in love and in romance, please. Temperance. So your person is, is, is so toxic. Your person, this tower moment, this you not wanting them and going after things that you want and people that you want is really put... It's really brought the foundation down in this person's life because they're trying to come out of the cold here. But I feel like this person is such in a negative place. They wouldn't be any good for you anyway because like I said, I feel like this person is stingy. I feel like this person would, will withhold things from you just to get what they want, just to get what they want. I feel like this person is highly toxic. They're toxic when they don't get what they want. 
And when it says third eye chakra, your person could also be dealing in some type of dark arts to find out your information too. Your person could also be wishing negativity on you since you don't want them, Libra, since they're dealing with their third eye and they're, and they're observing things. They could have observed how to tap into those things in order to find out a lot of things about you. Because this person know way too much about you. And I feel like this is unhealthy. This is very unhealthy behavior for somebody who who uh, gives the appearance that they want everything for you, everything with you, but I feel like they only want everything with you their way. And I feel like once they get you, it's going to be smothering. They're going to withhold things from you just to control the situation here. I feel like you already know how this person is. That's why you keep on holding back from this person. Uh, and so, and you keep on, it's like, I don't know, you may enter, have entertained this person in the past, but not to the, to the point where you guys are in a committed relationship. And I feel like you entertained this person, but not to the point where you guys can say you're one-on-one. -on -one. So I feel like that's why this person cannot believe that you're out dating other people because you come off as a single independent woman. Like you don't need nobody cause you ain't gave yourself to them. But in all actuality, you are all over the motherfucking place because you got people all in your DM, all in your inbox, folks coming after you. You got options at this fucking world and this person can't handle it. So they in very deep, low vibrational energy at this time. So Libra, woo! This has been your reading for your person in love and in romance, my darling. So if this video resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe and leave me a comment. And I will talk to you on the next video. Bye.